Well, car buffs from all around the world race into Boca Raton today. The 16th annual Concourse d'Elegance is back. That's right. This event is for real car collectors with hundreds of classic rides on display. Local tents Annalise Garcia is there to show us some of the hot rides. Hey, Annalise. Hey, Alex, Andrew. So, yeah, this is the 16th year of this event presented by Rig Case. This behind me is happening right now. It's all underway. The judges are at it. It's happening at the Boca Raton Resort, and they've set it up here next to the driving range for their golf course. So there's about 200 cars and motorcycles here. They're from different periods, and all of them are meticulously restored. Today, judges are critiquing these vehicles, meeting the owners, and they're all competing for top prizes is a national recognition of the judges they're hard at work right now if you see the people with the straw hats and the white shirts they're kind of in groups all over uh, this field here they are the judges right there there's quite a few of them now we were able to speak to the owner of a 1987 Camaro the judges just came by his car not too long ago and he tells us what it's like to be a part of an event like this my car it holds about 50, 60 trophies and locals and, and AACA awards and so forth, so forth. But just to be here is so something special that we will look forward to be accepted. This is a privilege to be accepted to a concourse like this. And to me, this is like just like winning. If I win or not, it's fine. But to me, just to be here, to me, that, that, is, that is it. I'm back out live here. You're taking another look at the event right now. The judges are doing their thing. You're looking at them right now, that group right there. And they've been hopping from car to car and speaking to the owners about the process that went into restoring these cars. Now, another special part of this event is that all of their proceeds go toward the Boys and Girls Club of Broward County. Now, we're told that this event up to now has raised $10 million for the charity. I'm live in Boca Raton, guys. Annalise Garcia, Local 10 News. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like that judge's uniform, right? Yeah, I'm right. Gonna, I can rock that. All right. I, I want to know, Annalise, <laughs> did you have a favorite car or a favorite motorcycle, something you saw out there that you know, you're like, uh, can, I, can I take this for a spin? <laughs> You guys, there's a lot of cool stuff out here, so I don't, I don't know, but I, I have to say that I'm a little bit biased right now because we did just speak to that car owner and he showed us, I'll show you again, his car is right here behind us. It's this red uh, 1987 Camaro and he was talking to us about how cool it is to not only restore it, but to, dri uh, to drive it here because he in high school wanted this car and now he has it and he restored it and it looks just like the one he always wanted. So it's it's pretty cool. I mean, I don't know a lot about cars, to be honest, but these things are beautiful out here and the work that goes into restoring them is quite amazing. A very yeah. long time. A lot of work goes into these cars. For, that's for sure. sure. Listen, Annalise, you may not know a lot about cars, but something's telling me, like all of us sitting here, that you love a hot car, right? <laughs> 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 Special note.